Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Viral Scale 247. My name is Henry Waters, and in this channel, I'll be teaching you all you need to know about website design and development, and also improve your knowledge in other trending technologies. I upload videos in this channel two times in a week, so I suggest you guys should consider subscribing to this channel by clicking the red subscription button down below, and also turning on the notification bell. In that way, when I upload new videos, you'll be the first to get the notification. Okay, before we start, I'll be showing you what I have here. I have a notepad showing some details I need to capture from PayPal. In, this, in today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to create sandbox personal and business accounts from PayPal. And also, I'll show you how you can be able to get tests working card details okay if you're ready for this let's get to it right away all right first thing we'll go to google and type in developer developer.pipa.com i assume you must have, have an account with paper if you don't have an account with paper for this go to paper.com and create either a business or a personal account My network is a bit slow. Come on. Okay, the page has finally opened. Next thing we'll do is log into our dashboard. Enter your email and password. Login. All right, the interface has opened. What we have here is my house and presentials on Sandbox and Live. We'll be working with Sandbox. Sandbox is more like a testing environment. When you are done with what you are doing and you want to go live, this is when you make use of live. But for the sake of this tutorial, We'll be creating our sandbox account as stated earlier. Click the account button. Okay, we will be creating both personal and business accounts for testing purposes. Click on create accounts. Now, country of region, I'll be making use of United States of America for the course of this tutorial. All right, we have done that. We'll create the second account, which is the merchant business account, majorly used to receive payments. Great. Alright, the next thing we'll do, we'll head over to my apps and credentials, click on it. Here we'll be creating our app that we'll use for this tutorial. Under Sandbox, you click on Create App. You can name your app whatever name you want according to your project in which you're working on. For this tutorial, our app name will be Viral Skill 247. Click on Create App to create. Alright, we have done that. The next thing we will do is to copy all the details associated with this sandbox. We'll first of all, copy the client ID under this app, open our notepad, save it right here, copy and paste, minimize it, go back to our sandbox, we we'll save both the personal and business accounts. Alright, 
I like the email ID. Copy. Open this. Email ID for business. Yes. Do the same for the system generated password. Then minimize that. We repeat this action for personal email ID and password. developer.paypal.com forward slash developer forward slash credit card generator yes that this is it click on that remember before you can enter this URL you must be logged in in order to generate cards okay type visa country I will choose what country will I choose okay I will choose South Africa then click on generate all right this has been generated we'll copy the card number copy save it right here Working, we were making use of South Africa as a country for the test card. We're going to look for a valid phone number. For a valid phone number, we're going to go on type in South Africa valid phone number. South Africa valid phone number here and hit enter. Okay, I'll copy this. Remember guys, this must be a valid phone number. Um, it must be valid. So I'll type in a time. Then what else do we need? We we'll need in postal code. Go go and type in postal code for South Africa. Postal code for South Africa. Hit enter. Okay. You choose any of these. They are all valid. Seven four four one. Okay. I pick that one. Our address could be any address. It mustn't be valid. Any address can work. I will choose uh, number one face six. Okay, that will do. Then email address. You can add your email address for the simple purpose, but it must be valid. It must be a working email address. Okay. So I will use my Yahoo mail address.
All right. I think we have gotten all we need. Okay, we have come to the end of today's tutorial. Please, if you got any value on this tutorial, please do so by subscribing to this channel by clicking on the red subscription button and turn on your notification bell. So the next time I upload new videos, you will be first to get the notification. Our next video will be on how to make use of paper smart button to accept donations on your website. We'll be using we'll be making use of these details to carry out that tax. Okay? So stay with me in the next video. Bye bye.